Greetings, welcome to another video. It's Tuesday the 5th of May 2020 and we're doing another video at Muxton Marsh in Donington and Muxton. So yes, we were here yesterday for the first time, first time ever really, exploring a bit of a paths going on here and today we came back and a few minutes ago just in a video having a look at the marsh itself a couple of fields here and some marsh water going on which is really interesting but right now we want to explore something I touched upon in yesterday's video which I want to see if I can explore today which will be like really interesting to be honest but as you can see Muxton Marsh is a site of special scientific interest and various uh, kinds of various kinds of bat forage over the marsh and hedgerow frogs and toads thrive in the marshy areas and minnows and water scorpion also live in the area so that's really nice but in the meantime let's carry on this way I think I'll have to walk around the edge around this way in fact In my previous video today, I tried to uh, record a bird of prey that was flying overhead. I don't know how successful I was in catching that footage, but maybe I'll get lucky and get another chance in making this video, but we'll soon see. I like it here, this is a really nice field. It's a really, really fun place to explore. I'm glad I came here today. In my previous video today, we went that way and we saw some of the Muxton Marsh. So we're not going that way now. Instead, we're going back up this way. I know we explored some of this way yesterday, but there's somewhere else around here that I want to have a look at and see how it takes. Grazing animals on site. Please close all gates and keep dogs under control. Shropshire Wildlife Trust, 193 Abbey Foregate, Shrewsbury, SY2 6AH, 
so if we remember from yesterday we just go up here for a moment brings you to the Donington Wood roundabout and from here you can get to Priorsley, Cannock and the M54 but obviously we're not going that way we're going to go back down this way Granville Heritage Trail and the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail So that way takes us out to the Granville Nature Trail across the main road which uh, we'll have a brief nose at at the moment As you can see that's the entrance to the Granville Nature Reserve Marsh Brook I might explore that way in a future video I haven't decided yet but in the meantime we're going back down this way Okay, it was in that direction we started this video, so we're not going that way. Instead, we're going this way. Now, there's a path we could go that way. But for now, we're going this way. following the Granville Heritage Trail and the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail so yeah when I made a video yesterday in this location didn't explore this way so I thought it would be a good idea to come back today and see where this path takes me Now I'm going to guess it might take me back to Muxton Marsh, which we saw a part of in my yeah, in my previous video today. I might be wrong about that, but we'll soon see. Obviously, if you're stopping to have a look at what we're looking at right now, be careful of your footing, make sure you don't fall in. And that's going to be true of both sides of the path. Because below us is a lot of marsh area.
I've just seen a couple of people bicycle along here on their mountain bikes. So this looks like a great place to explore on your mountain bike if you're able to do so. And there's been a few uh, dog walkers as well. So this might be a great place to bring your dog for a walk. That might be a great place to explore one day at some point. Looks fantastic. really nice around here really enjoy it so there's multiple paths in this area going in different directions uh, I've just spoken to a really friendly lady Obviously, I did not record that conversation, but she was saying there's all kinds of paths going to different locations, like back to Muxton Marsh, back to a cycle path around here somewhere. So a T50 uh, trail. There's... Markings in the path for various cyclists, I assume, because some of these tracks look like bike tracks. Well, while I'm tempted to go that way, I don't think I will. At least not today, maybe another day. Let's explore this way. I mean, chances are that, yeah, that path is probably perfectly safe, no problem. But this way looks just as interesting to be fair to explore I'm assuming these arrows in the path are for someone's adventure trail uh, for cyclists or adventure walkers maybe a... I don't know obviously someone's gotten together to mark out a quest path, if you will. An adventure pathway for them. Let's carry on this way. So I nearly missed it. These wooden planks on the path almost look like a 
train sleepers he's fine on train tracks be nice to know if this used to be a train line since abandoned obviously I don't know the history of this area but it would be nice to know I'm not going to have to step over this Right, let's follow the path to the left It looks like there's some steps coming up ahead. I don't know where they lead to. But I'll explore these steps on another day. Then again, just pop down now actually. Okay, that way leads back to Muxton Marsh, where we were at during the previous video today. And over there is a playground and people's houses. So there's no need to explore around people's houses. Gonna go back up these steps. Those steps are bloody steep, I'll tell you that. Whew. Let's carry on exploring this way. Right, let's follow the path to the left. One of these markings in the ground again. Like I said, I did see someone on the bicycle earlier on doing this route. So I could be wrong, but I'm guessing those markings on the ground are cyclists messaging, messaging each other about good routes to take on their bikes I could be wrong about that but it just seems to make sense to me let's carry on this way So we've come back to here. Right, we've done a massive loop actually. 
we've been here before and we went in that direction and we looped around to this point here which means if we go back in this direction it'll take us back to where we started today's video let's crack on this way Here's the same arrow in the ground we saw earlier on and this time pointing in the direction we're now going so yes I love it around here it's really really nice I'm glad I came here today So this is the path we didn't explore earlier on, but maybe I'll come back here another day, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. In the meantime, we're going back down that way. The Telford T50 50 mile trail and the Granville Heritage Trail. I think that's what I'll call this video the Granville Heritage Trail that'll be good very good so we explored that way earlier on and right now we're going back this way Right, so we're going to head back to the wooden footbridge back over there now.
so here we are back where we started this video today and it's going to be here we finish this video i'll be honest i really really enjoyed making this video it's been one of my favorite recent videos anyway i hope that you dear viewer have enjoyed watching this video and I hope that also, more importantly, you're taking care of yourselves and being safe. But like I say, this video has been fantastic. The weather's been great. I've really enjoyed this one. On that note, take care of yourselves, be safe, and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.